Welcome back to Dark Souls 1 on the Xbox 360. In the last part, we did absolutely pointless narrative exposition. In this part... In this part... GET AWAY! <laughs> and this is the Asylum Demon, the boss that I am unable to kill. But we don't have to fight him yet! Right, of there's a bonfire to, down here. We have to light another bonfire. And I think, I think the thing with the bonfire is you can't be surrounded by enemies when you light the bonfire. It just won't let you for some reason. Yeah, I don't the, there's, a, there's a shield floating around somewhere that you have to pick up. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's around here somewhere. It's somewhere in the pool, I think. Um, this actually is not the first time that I had done this dungeon. It's the first time that I played through it. The um, spider shield. Because I'm, curr I'm, I'm currently using my buddy's copy of Dark Souls in order to play. Mm -hmm. This is me going through the menu screens. Um, so I was actually aware that the Asylum Demon was going to drop down like that. I actually thought he was going to break through the wall. I, I kind of remembered that differently than it actually happened. But um, the, fir the first time I saw the Asylum Demon, I actually tried attacking it. And I found, no, you can't hurt it. Well, you can, but it's not very effective. It's not very effective. So you're basically wasting your time. I like how it's failing to save your change. My change? Yeah. Well, which which change? Now you're attempting you're attempting to save you're attempting to actually equip the uh, spider shield, and it's just flat out saying no. We're not letting you do that. Try again. Oh no! It's I think uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing now. I guess I'm I think I'm just right now. Like, you're just navigating through the menus. I'm just to why I won't let you equip the spider shield. This is a blind playthrough. What the fuck? Um, I. I I'm try I am trying really hard to actually put the spider shield in my character's hands right now. <laughs> Cause it's it's definitely I, I got it. I mean do I hit the left left uh, D pad? No. I I get that. Okay. There you go. Unequip I did it yay. <laughs> now you're now an interesting thing is that the spider shield is actually a better offensive weapon than the starting shiv. It is. Well, I, actually, I, I would. I don't really know that for sure. Uh, it says so on its stats. It's uh oh, battle axe. Um, I I haven't tried using the shield as a weapon. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure what all of my attacks are as of this recording. I I plan on making a lot of progress after uh part part four is when I'll start making real progress in in. If if not if not in the game itself and my knowledge of how the game functions, fuck yourself. Pitiful experience, I say. Uh, so now you can fight the asylum demon properly. Cause I just traversed the nightmare fog, getting more instructions on how to use the B button. Now, one of the things that that you're supposed to that you're supposed to learn uh, about is that you can actually use your environment again against uh, your enemies. Really? Yes, you can. But where did he go? Me remembering that this is not actually the place, locked by some contraption, confound them. I do spend a, a majority of these early parts just being plain fucking lost. I, I will have no illusions about that up front. I thought that he was just supposed to be standing there at the moment. Huh. I, that's that's not the room where you fight him. You have oh. to... Oh, shit. Dick, move. Yeah, Dark Souls will do that to you. Yay. Hooray for Dark Souls. Ow. Blocked you. <laughs> That right there is probably going to take the most adjusting, is how to use the shield in combat. Because I'm not used to using the shield, like, at all in these From Software games. But there is only one path for Cloud, the large and in charge. <laughs> large and in charge? No, you are, you are a tiny man. <laughs> I'm a tiny man. I am a rotund tiny man. Ah. 
Fuck. I'm glad that you're actually experimenting with your with your attacks a bit, so you can figure out the uh, the uh, timings on each of the swings. There's a stair set that you failed to climb up. Huzzah! Uh, wait, is it was it over here? No. Is it through the wall? Although is this it, is where the. Why did you attack the knight? Because he's dead. But why? Because you gave me a hundred experience. That's why. Fuck yourself. Oh, I was supposed to kill him. Huh. I didn't kill him, actually. Well, that's how, apparently that's how you get your first Estus Flask, otherwise you have to get to the first, to the, to the next area of the game before you can get the Estus Flask. The Estus Flask is, um, that, that became the blood, the blood vial in Bloodborne. Yep. It's a, it's a replenishable healing item. Because at this point, I only, b before I got that, my only healing option was Divine Blessing, but I only have three of those for, I think, the entirety of the game. Right weapon, two-handed. Yes, now you can wield your battle hex as a two-handed weapon. Yeah, so so what I realized um, just last night, actually, is that in order to fight these guys, I have to learn, like, when to time the attacks. Yep. Especially while they're approaching me. So maybe they have to be, like, a, like ten feet away before I attack versus, like, five feet away for the faster weapons. Because these weapons are slow as fuck. I actually really like the uh, battle axe jump attack. It's very effective and it one shots a lot of the smaller enemies. Yeah. Because otherwise, you're gonna feel pretty vulnerable. Resting at bonfires revives enemies. Yes, it does. I locked on. Deflect attack. That's not deflect. It's block. Ow. These guys don't have stun frames when I hit them, but uh, then they die. I think they do if you actually parry, which is uh, one of the things that you're supposed to be learning, I think, up here. No, not okay. up here. Yeah, because I just, I just have to block the arrows. Teaching me how to play. You swung your arms in a very I'm dead fashion. Plunging. Oh, so they do let you do a plunging attack. Yes, and it does a, it does a massive amount of damage on the Asylum Demon. But you're only gonna get like one, maybe two. Here's where they're supposed. To, here's where they tell you about the parry. Timing, uh, timing the parry is one of the more is one of the dif more difficult things, but um, it's very worth it. it. Yeah, they they do that a lot in these games. Is um, the enemy the timing of when you when you hit the enemy with an attack like during their animation has a dramatic effect on the gameplay. If you exploit the timing, then you'll probably kill them. The Asylum Demon is right below you. The Asylum Demon waits. I am scared shitless, because I know that I'm about to go into and a boss fight. And now you're fight. dead. Yay. <laughs> I did it. I can see that he is vulnerable to attacks. Behold, the first boss of Dark Souls, the Asylum Demon. G g give me a second. Hold on. Okay. Let's do this. And I'm of course he has got a minor shockwave. Minor shockwave, but I realized then that he is really, really slow. He's a big fatty. You used up your dodge rolls. Use up all my stamina, because stamina is very important in these games. I think the shockwave on the Asylum Demon is honestly is honestly not that uh, not that uh, wide. It, it, it isn't no, because I was I mean I was close, but I wasn't close enough. Oh! But yes, he has rake attacks as well. He doesn't do a lot of damage. Ow! Oh, he didn't hit me. It totally looked like he did, though. This is when I realized that the battle axe has an extremely short reach. Yes, it does. Which is why I'm not terribly crazy about it, because then it becomes my primary weapon. Sucks. God damn it. Like, are you serious? Are you for serious? They are most certainly for serious, yo. Well, god damn it. Yep, rake attack. Keeping my distance, recharging stamina, dodging. No, just staying outside of reach. Break. Ow. 
But from here, you've pretty much won. All you yeah. gotta do, all you gotta do from here is, you know, uh, capitalize on him. I'm noticing that you're not actually doing the leap attack. I want to know how much I, damage the leap attack did on Because I don't know the attacks. I don't know leap attack from parry reposte or some shit. Repost, I, dude. Repost. I think. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna start calling it repost. And then the next part, I'm gonna take a bow. Well dude, done. You did that this part. Next part, we're continuing. Yes.